Hello, everyone. I will be right there. Just setting everything up for you guys. Hopefully we have a, a bunch of people join us. I know it's still a little early, but um, Scott is away. So I have to make dinner for the boys. Um, I guess I really don't have to make dinner for the boys, but uh, you know, I, um, I, you know, I, I want to make dinner for the boys cause I have to keep, eat myself. So uh, hopefully everyone's having a great day. that done. We shared it. I still can't invite people because I'm still uh, I'm still in Facebook jail. So we'll just keep it how it is. Hi Amanda. Oh, I gave myself a mad face. No. I gave myself a mad face. That wasn't smart. That was silly goose. I don't like that I can't invite anyone. But I guess that's uh, the way it's going to be. How are you, Amanda? Hi, Christine. Hey, Christine, if you can share this live, that would be fabulous because I'm in Facebook jail for seven days and I got yelled at by your boss again because I came to get you for lunch. And she's like, you don't know when your friend is working. And I said, no, I just um, don't know what day it is. <laughs> so, um, all right, let's get this party started. Hello, hello. I am Jessica from Chalking with the Girls. I am a chalk couture couturier. And we are going to do a, let's say special project. Um, we're gonna do the trees. But before we do that, I am going to tell you a little bit about chalk couture for those of you who don't know about chalk couture. Um, let's just get our our little things up there. If you want to subscribe to our um, VIP group and our YouTube page, there's the links for you. So Chalk Couture is a revolutionary concept. Hi Carla, in high-end DIY home decor. Um, you're not gonna find it anywhere else. We have adhesive silk screen reusable transfers. Um, they can be used up to 10 times and are fabulous. You just need water and something to wipe it off with to clean. And um, we have the latest designs. Everything is made specifically for us. We also have Chalkology chalk paste that you're not gonna find anywhere on the market and that's because we make it ourselves. So it is physically made in our warehouse um, developed by our owner and her science teacher. And a lot of people ask me, what's the difference between chalk paste and chalk paint? And it's a simple answer. Chalk paint is permanent. Chalk paste is not. So chalk paste is water soluble. It can be wiped off with water and, um, a paper towel or a wet wipe and a little bit of elbow grease. Chalk paint cannot. Hi Barbie. Um, we also have Couture Ink, which is permanent when dry, uh, heat set with a iron or oven, which is fabulous. Uh, we have several surfaces and the great thing is you can use our product on virtually anything. And I say virtually anything because I have not yet found anything that you can't use it on. Um, 
But I'm sure one day somebody will say, well, I tried to use this and it didn't work. So virtually anything. Um, you can use it on dry erase boards, windows, chalkboards, canvas, pillowcases, wood, ceramics. Uh, I do my, my door, um, my storm door every season. Um, one of my designers does her microwave. Somebody does their dishwasher. So you can really use it on anything, which is great. Um, if you are interested in a home business, a side gig, make a little extra money. I can offer you a wonderful opportunity to join Chalk Couture for $99 US dollars or a hundred and I think $29 Canadian dollar dollars, Canadian designer dollars, Canadian design, stop, Canadian dollars. Hi Carmela, um, you get five chalks eight transfers, a apron, a startup guide, thank you cards, and a beautiful board surface, and chalk chips. Uh, it's $240 value for, US dollar value for $99. If you are interested in more information, just type in um, hashtag join, and I will, um, get together with you and we can discuss this. Uh, if you are new to either me, watching me, Chalking with the Girls, or Chalk Couture, um, just type in hashtag newbie. I always like to, uh, to see the new people that are on. I like to see the people that always come on as well. So I don't mean that to sound like I don't like to see everyone. Um, you know, but it's always exciting when we have new people on. If you are watching and there is Oh, I got it right this time. A live square right there in the upper left-hand corner. That means you're watching me live and you can chat with me live. So feel free to stop me at any time, ask questions. Um, I always look back at my computer to check and see if anybody has any questions or comments for me. Um, if you are, do not see that live, that means you're watching the replay. Mm. But that's okay because you can still ask questions. Uh, put your comment in the in the comments, uh, your question in the comments, and I will answer it as soon as I get hi Linda. As soon as I get word that you commented. Um, again, so we have if you're interested in joining, hashtag join. If you are new to me or Chalk Tour, hashtag uh, newbie. Most importantly, please say hi when you come in. If you love what you see please share. Best way to compliment me is to share my lives, especially since I am in Facebook jail for the second time. And I don't even know why. Hi, Pam. I really don't even know why. Like, they, I just think they don't like me. Um, if you would like to join our YouTube page, subscribe to our YouTube page. It is at Chalking with the Girls. We have a Facebook VIP page, which is Chalking with the Girls VIP. So uh, we do specials there. We do all kinds of fun stuff. We play games. We do giveaways. Um, so come check it out. Uh, if you request to join, I will add you as soon as I am done my live. Hi, Pat. And uh, let's get started. So we have these new surfaces. Uh, they are the Christmas tree cutouts. Um, you know, they don't have to be Christmas tree cutouts. They could be evergreen cutouts. There we go, evergreen cutouts. Um, I absolutely love them. We have pumpkins as well. Uh, we did the pumpkins a couple weeks ago. I haven't had a chance to do the Christmas trees, so I'm super excited to do these. Uh, we have the transfer that goes along with it, and they are called, oh, Christmas tree pattern. So I guess it does say Christmas tree, but I'm going to say evergreen. Hi, Tammy. Um, and I'm going to say evergreen because not everybody celebrates Christmas, but everyone who se doesn't celebrate Christmas can have a evergreen tree in their front yard, right? Why not? Why not? That's my question of the day. Why not? I have had an interesting day today. I hope everyone has had a wonderful day. We were supposed to move my office, got everything packed, didn't schedule any appointments, and no move. Um, so we are moving tomorrow. I did also go to the um, oral surgeon with Zachary, 
and because my life is nothing but exciting, he has to have all four of his wisdom teeth taken out on Friday. Um, so that means I'll have off on Friday and I will do lots of chalking while I am home with him. I probably shouldn't swing these uh, <laughs> trimmers around. Um, I can do lots of projects, which is really exciting because I'm getting a new toy tomorrow, which is really nice. Um, all right, so I am going to take my transfer trimmers and if, hi Marlo, if you have ever gotten that perfect pair of scissors where you are like, OMG, these are like the best thing since um, sliced bread, you will know what I'm talking about when I say, oh my God, these are like the best thing in the world. They cut perfectly. They give you the right, the perfect resistance. When I first saw them, I was like, eh, I've got lots of scissors. I don't need them. And then I tried them and I was like, oh my God, I need to have them. Right, Tammy, you and uh, you and Linda were there. Weren't they like, originally you were like, ah, eh, scissors. And then you tried them and you were like, oh, 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 I need a dozen of these. Um, I actually have two pairs that I use and I have a bunch of pairs to sell, but they, they seriously are like the best scissors ever. So what I'm doing, let me put my little screeny screen up here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. You will notice that there are white lines in this transfer. That is where you are supposed to, hi Harriet, you are supposed to cut your transfer. You don't have to, um, for this one, I don't know why you wouldn't because you would just be turning your transfer over and over. Um, but if you don't, cause there are transfers that have sayings on them that you can do like half of the saying or you can do the whole saying, just don't go over the white line with chalk paste or ink because it will go through cause it, it is silk screen. So that's my little tidbit for the day. Don't go over the white line. Very different than follow the yellow brick road. So once we get these all apart, what I am super excited about is that they give you, um, I now don't know why they didn't do it for the other one, maybe they ran out of space, but there are two, um, two transfers for the big one two transfers for the small one. There is one transfer for the medium one, but you know what? I'm gonna go grab something that I didn't think to grab. So we'll do this too, which is so super exciting because I love my backgrounds. This is our joyful holiday patterns. So I will show you also how Thank you, Harriet. Happy Wednesday to you. Um, I will show you how we can use these on our cutouts as well. Because honestly, the only thing I have to do tonight is to feed my kids. <laughs> and they're 19 and 21, so technically, or 24, so technically they could feed themselves. Um, but I have to eat as well, so I might want to make something for them, but if they get hungry, they'll make themselves something. Or I could actually just ask one of them to cook what I was gonna cook. But that would mean I would have to yell, and we know what it sounds like when I have to yell for them. Oh, I can message them. Let's message them. Let's see if they'll answer me. I'm gonna go five to one. Um, Colin will answer me first because Zachary is, um, Zach's got his, his head in his headphones. Um, let's see, so I said, anyone wanna make dinner? Was making jalapeno pierogies. Let's see if I can get them to make dinner. <laughs> That's fun. All right, it went through. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Marlo, you're leaving. Why are you, 
oh, that was the other night. I'm like, why is Marlo leaving? That's just sad. There we go. Yeah, they can feed themselves, Barbie. But like I said, I have to eat too. So that's, that's actually the biggest problem. Of course, I do have some pizza from last night that I can heat up. Colin said, Zach, <laughs> I told you Colin was going to answer first. Colin said, Zach is the chef in the family. Which in Colin, Colin terms means no. Let's see. I'm going to say Zach won't even read this. from the kids. Oh. <laughs> I said Zach won't even read this and Colin yells for him. <laughs> he is so lazy. Gotta love him. All right, so let's put this to the side for a minute. Um, I feel like I want to take out another set because I really want to do these on. So let me just grab another set. Uh, Zachary, I'm on a live. Okay. What's wrong, honey? Zachary? Zachary, you don't feel good. Go lay back down, honey. I'll make it. Zachary. <sighs> Zachary. Yes. I will do it when I get done my live. Zachary, go back to bed. All right, now they're going to fight Before while I'm on my live. Go back to bed. So that's fun. All right. So I got two sets here. I'm going to try not waxing these. Um, hi, Michelle. Hi, Kristen. Um, so let's see how that works out. I am going to fuzz. So I have my fuzzing cloth. The reason I prefer our fuzzing cloth as compared to a towel, you can use a towel by all means. Um, a towel will leave a little more lint on your transfers and sometimes it will leave like nubs that you have to like physically pull off because um, they, they won't, they'll, they'll leave bumps in your thing. Sorry, Kinana, the puppy just distracted me. All right, so I'm gonna take this little finger this one, not this one, but this one. And I'm going to roll back my transfer. I'm going to stick it on my fuzzing cloth. This gives you like the perfect amount of fuzz. My husband and daughter were arguing the other night while I was live. Yeah, isn't it fun? But you know what? I'm the one who started it by asking them if they want to cook dinner. Colin, they're on, I think on the left-hand side of the freezer all the way at the bottom. There's, huh? Oh, okay. I thought you were coming down to make them. What? Okay. Um, so I'm going to line this up so that it gets my edges. Uh, let's see. The baby is feisty again today. I'm going to smooth this down to make sure that um, to make sure that there are no air bubbles. Sometimes you can kind of look on the side. Hi, Judy. Um, you can look on the side to to see whether or not there are air bubbles. You'll get this little like shiny spot. Uh, I'm going to use our shimmer paste. So. I love our shimmer paste, and that's why I'm using them. So I'm gonna use copper. I'm gonna use this fancy raspberry ones that, um, this is a beautiful color. We got it uh, exclusively for being designers and being at ChalkCon. 
So if you want pretty colors, that's what you have to do. When we went to um, leadership, we got a unicorn one that it's just like a plain white iridescent one. And of course I can't find it because that's the story of my life. And we're going to use silver. So I think for this one, I'm going to use red. Um, normally when you are opening your paste, I just dropped something, don't know what, um, you would have to stir them. Shimmer paste, you really should not have to add any water to it. For some reason, the consistency is a little better because hi Kim, because, um, it has the shimmer in it. And again, I say this every single time. I have no clue what makes the shimmer, but I swear one day I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out. So I'm going to dip my squeegee in my transfer. Or not in my transfer, my shimmer paste. You don't have to do a whole lot. Let's zoom in a little bit here. You don't have to do a whole lot. Um, I'm going to have to use more than this, obviously, because I'm doing the whole uh, surface like this. And you're just going to scrape it along your transfer. It doesn't matter what direction you go in. Um, I, you know, those who watch me all the time know that when I do ink, I prefer to go in one direction the whole time. Um, with paste, it doesn't matter. The shimmer paste, I do find that you do have to go over it a little more than regular paste and kind of be a little, a little more scrapier, I guess, if that's the word you want to use. Um, little rougher and uh, to like get the shimmer to go through the silk screen. Um, it's not a big deal. It's just, you just scrape a little harder. So I just go through, go over it a couple times. I've also actually um, let a shimmer paste dry. And then when I thought it was too light and I've gone over it again after it dried and oh my God, the color is just, it's amazing. Uh, it's, but it's normally like light ones on dark colors. So let's see how this one comes out. You'll notice I'm flipping my transfer or my squeegee over. For some reason also the shimmer paste will like build up in the thing. I don't know why. I literally just started. Why? What do you need? Just asking. Well, have a snack. I'm not really hungry yet. Oh, you just want to get rid of the puppy? No. Oh. Um, sorry, Colin, asking me when I'm going to be done. Obviously, I just started. Uh, all right, so we're going to go over this. done. I'm like obsessed with shimmer paint. I hope that when they come out with our holiday line that they come out with more colors. I would love to see a shimmer green. We'll go beautifully with the shimmer red, especially on your holiday items. I would also like to see more shimmer paint, more shimmer ink. Um, they only came, only have the three colors of shimmer ink. So I think that would be cool if we did more shimmer ink. I'm going to scrape off my excess because when I tell you this is liquid gold and this is how much excess I have on there, you really want to make sure that you scrape off your excess. You do not want to waste any paste whatsoever. Because this jar should last you a long time. I think someone, someone did a accent wall in their house. Yes, they did it on the wall. Um, oh, look how pretty. Oh my God. I wish that you guys could see really how, let me take my face off. Um, you could, no, nope, yeah. You could see how shimmery this really is because I'm telling you, the, the camera does not do this justice at all. 
you really can't even see that it's shimmery. I mean, it's like glitter on, on there. It's so pretty. I'm going to zoom you out. I'm going to take my transfer. And normally you would put it in a wet bath, which is literally water in a tub. I do not have um, really good access to cold water. Do I know if they're going to come out with sample ink packets? Um, Harriet, I do not know. Um, we're hoping for it, but I don't know. We've asked. So we will see. Um, but you can make your own sample inks if you want to send them to people with a you know little container. So I'm just rubbing the transfer off. I'm using actually, these are called water wipes. My friend Blue introduced them to me, introduced me to them. They are 99% water. I feel like, hi Kara, I feel like... Um, Cleaning these with the water wipes is better than using a antiseptic wipe all the time for a couple reasons. Um, one, I really don't want to. I don't. They antiseptic wipes break down things. Didn't really know that until my husband told me. Um, I am still going to use an antiseptic wipe on the underside of. And they were right here. Where did they go? Where are my antiseptic wipes? Um, right, well, maybe, maybe I'm not right now. Maybe another time. So I'm going to wipe this with, oh, here they are. I was going to say, I know I just had them. Hi, Elaine. So I am going to wipe the sticky side with an antiseptic wipe um, because that will rejuvenate the stickiness. So we're gonna wipe that off, whoops, with that. Um, the other reason is because, because I clean my transfers this way um, due to my lack of cold water, when, when I turn all my water down here, the cold doesn't work, so only the hot, and my hot is so hot that it literally melts plastic. Um, and you know, I've said this several times, I don't plan on committing any crimes anytime soon where I'm not gonna need my fingerprints on my hand. So I just prefer to use something else. And I messed up my corner. So I'm going to wipe this off. See, everybody messes up sometimes. I'm gonna wipe this off. I'm going to dry this. You're not gonna be able to hear me because I'm using my son's like super powered um, blow dryer. Yes, I did say my son's, um, not my daughter's, my son's. Uh, it's all tangled up and everything, but that's okay. So uh, this is like super, super loud, um, but it's also super, super fast. So we're gonna turn this on real quick. Hi, Barb. talking about you so don't go watch the replay okay um, all right so I am actually because this pattern repeats um, I think it repeats maybe it doesn't I mean it, it does repeat um, I thought it repeated evenly let's see I'm gonna find it it's gonna repeat it's gonna match up somewhere 
There we go. Is that it? No. Maybe here. Here? Here? No. That's weird. Oh, because the lines get thinner. Okay. Sorry. I'll figure it out. Figure it out, ladies and gents. There we go. All right, so that's perfectly lined up. Well, it's getting perfectly lined up. I wasn't saying anything bad, honey. No, don't watch the replay. I don't remember what I said, but it was probably something that like, you know, don't tell Scott I can do that or something like that. Or I bought a new toy, something, you know, just something that I probably, you probably don't want to hear. Just because. So, um, I thought I had it lined up and then something went awry. All right. I think my other son is home because I can hear him telling the puppy that she bit his nose. All right. Sorry, I want to make sure that these line up perfect because if I go over another piece, uh, I don't want it to be off. So sorry for the delay. Goodness gracious. Just when I think I got it, something is a little bit off. I really, I don't want, my lines are so crisp that I don't want to mess them up. There we go. Okay. No, dog on it. Um, my, my Kim, the puppy loves everything. She doesn't mind the thunder. Um, Tyson, the older dog, he does not like thunder. Um, but he's probably like hiding behind the couch or something. The boys are playing with the puppy right now. All right. You know what? Let me just do this where it's supposed to be and, and be done with it. That way we don't have. Ah! Stop. Hi, babe. Hi, Al. Stop. Seriously, look. Hey, no. I'm on a live, so I'm on a I'm on a live, so don't curse, please. All right. Um. So I'm gonna go back and fix my my spot here. I really want to do the bottom here. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can not mess up what I just did. I just slid this down a little bit. I think we're perfect. Hopefully that doesn't mess up what I just did. And then we're just gonna do the bottom. I just want the bottom. I don't know why they, they cut the bottom of the tree. Hi, Vivian. So we're just gonna do the bottom of the tree. There we go. Clean this off again. So Scott is away. Um, he is up visiting his parents in Long Island. Um, that's probably why I said something. I don't even know what I said. Don't even know what I said. It doesn't matter. It wasn't anything bad. Um, he probably left to go watch the replay. So let me dry this real quick.
I'm going to put this to the side. I'm going to grab another one. Here's my small one. Um, I should have written on here. Uh, which one is that large? I'm gonna pretend that my pen works. Are you home for dinner, honey? No, I'm at mommy's. I'm just here to grab my stuff. Okay. No, nope. that's still not a squeeze. Okay, so um, why am I funny? that I wrote on here that this was the large plaid one because um, for some reason I actually was just saying to Scott today that like I have 70,000 um, sharpies and for some reason I never have any when I need them all right so I'm gonna zoom in on there we're gonna do my little one my little one is five inches tall I'm gonna again take this little finger we're gonna roll the transfer off I'm going to line it up. This one has a whole lot of silkscreen surface space. So I really have to make sure that my transfer is down and there are no air bubbles. You tend to get um, more air bubbles when you're doing a, a surface that, a transfer that has a lot of a uh, surface space. So let's do this one. I just am, um, hopefully that's a good thing that I'm funny. I'm gonna stir this one up. And we're gonna get another squeegee because we don't wanna use the same one because it's already got that color on it. And we're gonna do the same thing. Now you can use these transfers. Um, you don't have to just use them on the, the cutout, which is really nice. Cause again, all of our transfers are reusable up to 10 times. And um, so you can actually use the transfer to be a tree on a regular surface. It will come out as a regular tree. So, you know, you can do a picture with the trees in the background. You can do the cutouts. You can put them together on a tablescape. You can do all kinds of things. So that's what I like about these is that they're so versatile. When you pull your transfers up, you want them to be at a 90 degree angle um, because you don't want to stretch your silk screen. Actually, you know what? Before I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the bottom, but I'm gonna dry it again first. I did have this little area here. You'll see that um, it smeared a little because when I moved the transfer. Uh, it hit it. Hi, Susie. Um, so let's dry this off.
doesn't take long to dry at all. So now I'm going to, I want to use obviously a part that's mostly silk screen or that's all silk screen because um, the design is only in the center. So I'm just going to, whoops, I'm just going to hold this up here. Let me do this, then I'm going to just move it down just a little bit so that I can get that other corner. Um, you really can't, like, I could have just done it like this, but as you can see, it kind of smears. So you really don't want to do that. But now that I showed you that, I will continue. Actually, I'm going to scrape it off and I'm going to go back over it with my transfer. The silk screen actually helps smooth everything out. Let me dry this. Bye. Well, I, I said it, but I guess you I know. It. Well, I had the blow dryer on. Oh, gotcha. Love you too. See you uh, Thursday, maybe oh, Friday. Yes, yeah, see you Friday. Um, all right, then I'm going to go over that little spot that had. There we go. on because I'm I keep leaning close to my uh I keep leaning close to my transfer here and I have a white shirt on so power of Jessica's luck is she will get chalk paste all over her white t-shirt so again I'm just wiping off my transfer to clean it I'm gonna flip it over I'm gonna do the other side with an antibacterial wipe doesn't matter what brand it is I just use whatever's on sale or whatever Scott buys when he goes to the store so it's not one brand does not work better than the other um, it's just something in the wipes in general that reactivate the stickiness when it starts to lose its stickiness so you always want to clean it with this antiseptic wipe I need like a little drying area, but my table is too full with other stuff right now. Okay, so I did show you this little area here. It did smear. Um, I'm gonna show you what I do. I have, uh, where are they at? Nope, not that one, this one, okay. I have um, Mandela daughters that um, have a little paintbrush on the other side. I just wet it and I just carefully go like this. This is going to be a little more difficult because it is wood and it is in a grain. But I can do it. And you know, a lot of people might think, oh, that's no big deal. You can't really see it. But when I'm selling things, I want them to be perfect. So, you know, I don't want someone to see something and go, oh, that has a smear, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. No, it is. There are some things that it's okay to be a little rustic looking on this is definitely not one of them because everything else has such crisp lines. Um, I did buy, everybody always asks where I got my paintbrushes from. Um, I did get them on Amazon. 
they do not sell the ones that I have anymore, but I'm sure if you looked up mandala brushes, um, you'll find some. Or even like your local craft store will have them. All right, so we got that done. We're gonna put lucky number two over, I'm running out of spaces, over here. We're gonna take this one, this one is for you. Oh, you can see all the freckles on my arm. And there's only one transfer. So we're gonna use this, uh, little squiggly lines, again, the finger. Just find a corner that you can roll it. Put it on top. that we do want to smooth out, which again is going to be a little tough because this is a large transfer, a large silk screen. Um, so what I am going to do, I think I'm going to do this one in shiny pink. Um, what I am going to do is I am going to go in one direction with this and I'm going to go this way up and then this way down because this will kind of prevent, if you have an air bubble, it will sometimes prevent the air bubble from messing up your project because if you're pushing all the air in one direction, um, you should be okay. Notice I said should. It doesn't always the case, but you should be okay. So we're going in that direction and then this one, I'm gonna pull it down always working from the center going out because again I want to push that air out so the closer to an edge that you get the better chance you have that you're not going to get that little lift up up oh my god that is absolutely beautiful beautiful I gotta watch my singing because uh, sometimes Facebook mutes me I guess I should we should we need a name because when they hear that you're saying their name they don't like that either so what should we call it what should we call it let's give it a name um, what's a name that can be two words that start with an F and a B? You guys got to help me here because I'm coming up with nothing. Like literally nothing. Don't even have an idea. Any ideas? Come on, somebody's gotta have something for me. Nobody? Oh, we'll think of it. All right.
She probably has to go to the bathroom. She probably has to go to the bathroom. Okay. Ah, oh, I did it again. I didn't obviously learn from my mistake the first time. Just do it. And then let it dry. my daughter um, I have this little area here let's see if I can I have this little area here that didn't get anything so what I do is I take my daughter like I said when you use a paintbrush it doesn't it'll smear it but when you use a daughter it actually fills it in so I can do that without I'm not gonna do that now I'll go back and do it later but you can actually fill it in without using your um, transfer again. So again, not gonna do that now. And I actually have a bigger one that is dirty because I used it last night by accident. I have a bigger one that will actually fill that whole space faster. Okay, so yes, so French Bulldogs do not like me. I am convinced that French Bulldogs do not like me. I don't know why. Um, I was just in French Bulldog jail for three days. And then I got out of French Bulldog jail for one day. And then those darn French Bulldogs put me right back in. And now it's for seven days. It's until the 11th of August. So I can only comment and share to pages that I own. So if you can help and share me, that would be great. So that those French Bulldogs don't win. <laughs> That's cute, I like that. All right. Mama. Yes, honey. I mean, it's still going to be good. It might be a little flat. It's not like it's going to go bad. Um, all right. So let's do our second set. Again, we got the whole finger things. I don't get why they did it either. Maybe French Bulldogs don't like the fact that I have a Bernice Mountain Dog now. Maybe they're jelly. Maybe they're jelly on my puppy. That's it. This one's a little easier because it's a little less silkscreen area, but it still has a lot. So you gotta, again, so you pick up, rub it till you, you know, you get those air bubbles out. This one's being difficult because I said it was easier, I'm sure. Maybe there, it's in a conspiracy with those French Bulldogs.
most important thing that I want here is to make sure that my dots at the bottom are gonna go on straight because that would just look dumb if they were crooked. So I'm gonna kind of slide that up. I hope that, that worked. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Hi, Heather. I'm going to start here. Actually, I'm gonna start here off of the, and I'm gonna go up with this side to make sure we get all those air bubbles out. And then from here, I'm going to go down. And again, I'm doing it in the middle and I'm going outwards so that if there is any air bubbles, hopefully it will push it out to the side before it messes up my project. It just puts a little area of like weirdness in the chalk paste. It, it can actually kind of be smoothed out later but um, I prefer not to have to do extra work because you, you, know, you really are very easy to do chalk tour. And the last thing you want is to make more work for yourself. I have this great easy project to do and then I'm going to spend more time cleaning up after it because I didn't pay attention. So, nope, that's not what we want. I am gonna scrape off on my excess, make sure there are no lines, because again, with this large surface, it will um, show the lines when you take it off. Oh my goodness, this is pretty. Can you tell that this is the first time I've done these? Because I'm like, I'm gonna start making like tons of trees. Scott, when you come home and there's trees all over the house, you know why. I might do these on my microwave. That would be cool. Actually, I don't think I've yet talked Scott into letting me chalk the microwave. So. But if he's not home, he won't know. Ready? Come on, I'm just a big boy. Oh, so the second reason I, I was saying, the reasons that I don't like using antiseptic wipes all the time for the front is because um, my fingers have dried out too. <laughs> so apparently it does wonders for your transfers, but not for your skin. All right. That one can go up here. Oh, no, don't, no, don't stick to each other. Don't do that. Let's not be crazy. this bottom like it is because of the pattern it's okay that it's space and I really am running out of room all right we have one more small one with a small transfer this little cutie patootie 
and I don't have another shimmer paste. So maybe, maybe I'll attempt an ombre with shimmer paste. I've never done ombre with shimmer paste, but I mean, can't hurt, right? What's the worst that could happen? It looks dumb or it doesn't work. That's okay because chocolate toys are usable. Did I mention that? Chocolate tour is reusable. I'm losing some people. Am I on too long? Wow, we've been on for an hour already? All right. Oh, my dots don't want to be sticky. Polka dots, stick please. This one has a lot of space, especially when your polka dots don't want to stick. You know what, I'm gonna try and wipe this antibacterial wipe first. See if I can get those polka dots to be nice and sticky. I'm gonna take my blow dryer and on cool, I'm gonna dry the silk screen. We don't want that wet because then that'll look dumb too. All right, apparently I have all these um, have all these messages coming up, so I can't even see what's going on. There we go. All right. Oops. Oh yeah, now they want to stick to each other. All right, let's see if that worked. Did my polka dots get stickier? Not really. All right, so ombre may not work. But I'm gonna try it anyway. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna do the whole thing in the same direction because of the polka dots not wanting to stick. Not really sure. My polka dots on my, um, on my pumpkin stuck fine. All right, so we're gonna do that color. And now we're gonna do this color. I really have never tried ombre with a uh, shimmer paste, so this should be interesting. And then let's do the red. I don't know, I just feel like red is what should go with this. This is one of those, it's either gonna go really good or it's gonna go really bad. Let's hope for really good. But if it doesn't, oh well. All right, so if you see, in case you've never done ombre before, I left a little bit of space in between the two colors for each one. I'm going to take my finger, I'm gonna dip it in my red, I'm gonna dip it in my gold, and I'm gonna dip it in my silver. Actually, it's not gold, it's copper. And then I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna dot, 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 and I'm going to swirl. And I'm going to hope that it works. Then I'm gonna take my silver 
dot, dot. I was hoping that I did the right thing. And I'm going to swirl. And then I'm gonna clean my fingers off. I'm gonna take a squeegee that I have not used yet um, because we do not wanna mix the colors in our jars. The only thing with ombre and the messy is you kind of waste a little bit of paste, but sometimes beauty costs. All right, let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Somebody got the drums going. <gasps> oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. to take this upside down. It really doesn't matter because it's polka dots. I'm gonna do bottom red. I don't know if it's just Colin doesn't understand that Kinana is a puppy or Kinana doesn't understand that Colin doesn't want to be bit. Hi, Alicia. I really like it. I like the, uh, I might have to do that more often. All right. So I am going to skip the last, um, triangle one here because we're getting... one we did this is dry so I'm gonna flip it over I am going to put a paper towel down only because if there's any paste on my mat I don't want it to get on that other side so that's the only reason I'm doing that um, I'm going to use different colors so let's try that and let's do that and let's do new. What does it say? New, 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 new. New, new. I want to do say new. And I think new is over here. <laughs> did I tell you? <laughs> I probably did. But um, this is how much. Um, French Bulldogs don't like me, is I was 
I was doing that, what I just did. Like, no, 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 no. Because for some reason I do that dumb thing where I, I like to sing. And um, French Bulldogs actually muted part of my live because it said I did not own the rights to the song. Now, let's be honest here. Did that really sound like a song? Because it didn't to me. But apparently, ooh, that's a lot of thunder. Colin, is that thunder? Honey, why don't you put the dog in her crate if she's being um, crazy? Because then she's going to bark and bark and bark. Well, it, it's better than you yelling and yelling and yelling while I'm on my live. Is Scott on Long Island? Yes. Why? Because he went to go see his parents. Is everything okay? Yeah, why? He had time to take off, so he went to Long Island to go see okay. Grandma and Grandpa. All right. Well, you have to with me, young lady. Uh, excuse me. Excuse you. Yeah, excuse you. Yeah. All right. Okay, Kyle, I'm really still on a live. Excuse me? Uh, that's all. Yeah. Okay, Colin, I'm on a live. What's wrong with Andrew? His mom house doesn't have power. Okay, so is he coming back yeah, over? Yes, what happened? Are you coming back or staying there? Uh, he did he eat Friday dinner? Come back and stay there tomorrow Friday. Okay. Did he eat dinner? Well, he already he already had dinner, so you're good. Okay. Isn't that right? All right. All right. Sorry. No um, my youngest, his we have a really big storm going on, and uh, my youngest, his mom doesn't have power, so he's gonna come back here. All right. So this is one of our backgrounds. I would just want to make sure. I'm gonna do the green. Just because that's what I chose, no reason in particular. This hopefully is gonna be a little faster. The most important part of this is to make sure when you're doing the background that you line up, that you remember what side you worked on, uh, you started with. Because when I take this off and I clean it, I wanna make sure that I'm putting it down the same way. And that is because this side lines up with this side to make a complete thing. So we want to make sure, oh, that's cute. Um, we want to make sure that I'm lining up the sides. Oh, I'm losing people. I'm down to three. Oh, well, sorry. I know, this is a long one. I don't normally do long ones. Last night was long too. Um, but sometimes you just, you know, you got to. You're doing a project. You're showing different things. I appreciate those who've stuck with me. Those who will come back and watch the replay. Some people will just see what I'm doing and then they'll just scroll right to the end to see what it turned out. we're gonna I want to make sure I use this one because this will line up exactly where the other one left off I don't know if you knew that but the sides match the sides the top match the bottom and that's how you make sure that you have a fully repeated project without having any breaks in it or making it look dumb.
Is that my alarm? Huh? I said, is that my alarm? No. Oh, she's just in the kitchen. She's not locked in the heat. Okay. Um, do you at least want to put a pot of water on so it starts boiling? Sure. So that when I'm done, I can just put the... Thank you, honey. I love your enthusiasm. Ow. You are right? So see, it is a complete pattern. There are no breaks. Everything lines up exactly. Nothing looks like it's off. Nothing looks like it looks like it was one big long sheet, which is phenomenal. you uh when you come in don't be shy just say hi how big of a pot and how high do you keep um the biggest of the ones one down there the one that's tall that has like the insert you can leave the insert in so that I can oh. drain it um all the way up because I need it to boil. Isn't it cute, Linda? All right, we're putting this to the side and... Does anybody remember what I did second? Did I did the swirly swirls? Um, I think I did the branches second. So. Again, and everything is the same way. Everything is make sure you do with your finger. Make sure. This one I wanna try and get the whole thing in one. Actually, I think I want to do something. I know you guys are going to kill me. I'm going to try and do something different on here. So, I mean, since we're here, I'm going to, let's get this straight. Since we've already spent all this time together, I'm going to do this in our almond. Holy shit. What happened? What happened, Carl? Almost burned my eyebrows off. Well, why are you putting your face near the fire? Well, because I had it on Ignite and it wasn't igniting, so I went to look at what was going on and then it Oh, fell. yeah, well, you shouldn't continue to keep it on Ignite because that just releases gas. Thanks, Captain. And you can blow the whole house up. No, but I meant the whole house up. It definitely wasn't enough. Okay. So, I'm doing the almond this way. It's going to be subtle, and that's okay because that's what I want it to be. Let's just zoom in. 
Let's see if we can get, get my hand out of there. We're going to zoom. Nope, that's how. Hey guys, Andrew, Andrew, can you please remind your brother that I am on a live with other people and we can hear every word you guys say. And I'm going to use another light color so it doesn't look, I just want it to be subtle. Just want it to be subtle. Take this and I'm going to use my sage because it's a beautiful color. That sage is. Right, Linda. Oh, look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? I only have two more to do and I promise they'll be fast. I won't do anything else special. I'll just put them on. Let's just try this first though. one. I think I have. It's kind of 
the snowflakes on here. So you know what? I think I'm going to use the snowflakes on this one to kind of stay with the same theme. Let's zoom this out. I promise I won't be long. I'm going to use the marvelous because it's just marvelous. I'm going to peel this up. I'm going to wipe this off. Again, I'm going to remember where I started, what was the top, what was the bottom. So that I can line it up. Try this. And then I'm going to match the bottom here. The top there. Marlo. It's perfectly matched. Now, this one, honestly, I could have lined up a little better, but if you don't know where the break is, you will not be able to tell. One, because it's a snowflake. And two, just because you can't. All right, drying, drying, drying. Putting to the side and one left. Just one, just one, da -da 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 -da, just one. All right, doop. Okay, so let's zoom out, zoom out. Oh, nope, that's not the one. Is that the one? No, I want a small one. Let's zoom out. I really want to make sure that I line up right because these are words so and I'm doing it on the wrong side I'm surprised Marlo wasn't yelling at me actually let's be funky and do the word sideways why not I mean we can Right? Who's going to tell us we can't? 
no one. I am using my iris, which is a color that I absolutely love. It's like a purplish blue that is just amazing. Us off. Oh, look how pretty that is. That's pretty. I love it. It is pretty, isn't it? more wipes today. <laughs> I should get stock in wipes, but then I'm going to have to pick one and use the same kind no matter whether or not they're on sale. Ready? Let's put. I seriously am. I'm running out of room. Try this. up a little I must have had a little bit of an air bubble There we go. So we have that one. And then because we can't leave our other one with just one side because that would not be nice. I'm going to grab my other backgrounds. scissors are but I'll use my other ones that's why I got two because when I lost one um so I'm using my mandala daughter and they have paint brushes on it on the other side it's a really small paintbrush um it's really easy to use to clean it up because it's kind of um smooth I mean it's it's thin Just use this pink. Let's use peony because it's sitting here. It was like it just wanted to jump out and play. This is our regular um, background blocks. 
So there's a holiday one and then there's a plain one. Um, this also has flower background to it, which I would have done had it been in the bag, but it wasn't in the bag. So I'm just gonna do the stars. That off they're just little probably should have done them a little darker color but when you see them in person you you can really see them so it's okay and for sake of time because we're at an hour and 37 minutes we are not going to do these over again this one is kind of easy there's only one little spot I have to match up because the others don't have anything so it's right there Hopefully this isn't too wet. Oh, Marlo, this is it. I'm done. Are you excited your husband's going to come home? I forgot you haven't seen him in a month. Yay. That's so exciting. Like mine's been gone not even for a full day and I already miss him. And there we go. And ladies, gentlemen, fellow chalkers, all that are new, goodness gracious, I feel like it's been forever. No, I love it. That's why I kind of lose track of time because I love it so much. We are done. D U N done. Let me find some place to put this. I'm gonna dry this. And then we will, oh, we don't want that on there. We will take a look real quick at what we got. Right, Marlo? Thank God for little containers that you can throw your stuff in and not have to wash until later. <laughs> and by later, I mean next week. Because there's nobody here to yell at me. All right, let's see what we got. Let's, I will obviously have to take a picture of this because we do have uh, a lot of pieces here. We're gonna try and fit them all in one area so we can look at them all together. That's not gonna work. But that will, and then we have one more. Where did I put the other one? Where'd you go? Ah, there he is. There he is. So we have this side. All right. And then we flip it over and we've got, it's like work day and nighttime. Hee, <laughs> isn't that cute? It's like, that's really cool. It's like, this is potty time. This is when we're ready to potty. And this one is, oh, we're going to work. We're going to a casual dinner. Let's not get too dressed up. So I love them. I will take a picture of them. I am gonna do the last one because I don't want it to be sad. Who wants anything to be sad? 
and uh, I will post a picture later. Thank you guys so much for spending this hour and 41 minutes with me. Goodness gracious, I can't believe it's been that long and it's like 8.30 and I haven't fed my kids yet. So um, thank God they're 19 and 24. Um, I really, really, really appreciate you guys spending this time with me. If you loved what you saw, please share. Please share and love and love and give me lots of love and you can even give me reviews on the business page and everything like that. Um, I really appreciate the time you spent with me. Uh, tomorrow is Friday and I don't think I have going anything going on. Um, so I will be on chalking or inking tomorrow night. You guys have a fabulous night. Thank you for watching Marlo. Enjoy the time with your hubby and, uh, that's all. Thank you guys. I'll chalk with you tomorrow. Bye.